Weather and climate conditions are major factors for the well-being and development of society, with impacts on all scales from individual lives to global economies. The enormous forces of weather can also turn against us, causing floods and droughts, heat waves and hurricanes. If we're not prepared for these extreme events, then they can cause great losses for our economies and even loss of human lives. Over time, humans have tried to understand the weather to use it to their advantage, such as making use of favorable winds for setting sail and periods of fine weather for planting and harvesting crops. Knowing what the weather will be contributes to our economic growth and the maintenance of our modern lifestyles. The availability of reliable weather forecasts is of vital importance in structuring our everyday lives. In the past, people have tried to forecast the weather by observing the natural things around them. However, real progress was only made in the 20th century with the advent of programmable electronic computers. This led the way to numerical weather prediction. In the late 1960s, a number of European scientists had the vision that forecasting the weather up to 10 days ahead would be possible. Such medium-range weather forecasts would be of enormous benefit for the protection, safety and economic development of society. As a result, European governments agreed to combine their individual resources and establish an international organization with the goal of developing, improving and operationally producing medium-range weather forecasts. The European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasts, ECMWF, was born. ECMWF was formed by a convention ratified by 18 member states in 1975. The principal objectives of ECMWF are to provide medium range weather forecasts to its member states and to all European citizens in order to issue early warnings for severe weather conditions sobretudo em situações de mau tempo para ECMWF is effectively a world leader in its field of activity. O Centro de Previsão Médio Prazo é efetivamente líder neste momento a nível mundial no seu campo de atividade. Today more than 30 states support ECMWF. The objective of ECMWF is to provide the best global numerical weather predictions to its users and member states. How are these forecasts produced? What do we need to predict the weather? Well, a numerical weather forecast is a weather forecast made using a computer. You use the basic laws of physics and mathematical techniques, you program that up in a computer, and then you calculate the weather. Three major components are needed for the numerical weather prediction process. First, a set of observations describing the current atmospheric conditions. These observations are collected, for example, directly from weather stations and weather balloons, as well as remotely from satellites. Second, a mathematical model, which divides the atmosphere into a grid of small boxes and calculates how the temperature, pressure, humidity and wind change over time. Finally, a powerful supercomputer is required to run the numerical weather prediction system and to perform the calculations on each grid point of the model. ECMWF's numerical model system is acknowledged for producing the best numerical weather predictions worldwide. Around 100 scientists in the research department constantly work on improving the model system, but what's the secret of their success? The art of numerical weather modeling is to find the best way of representing the highly complex processes in our Earth system in a simplified and computationally efficient way. The more computer power you have, the better the atmosphere can be represented. ECMWF has also developed a sophisticated method of incorporating all available meteorological observations into its model system. Every day, ECMWF receives a total of about 300 million observations. The largest and most important part of this data comes from polar orbiting and geostationary satellites. Observations are also collected from meteorological stations on land and at sea, as well as measurements from aircraft, buoys, radio sons and radar systems. This vast amount of data is used to determine the state of the atmosphere as accurately as possible in each grid box of the numerical model to give what is called analysis. This is used as the initial condition for the numerical model and is the prerequisite for high quality forecasts. The preparation of these initial conditions is an intricate and demanding task. Despite great advances in producing the best possible analysis and scientists making better use of all the available observations, there will always be a remaining uncertainty in the initial conditions of the model. First of all, there is an error in the initial state. What is the weather today? 
We don't know exactly. It is just an estimate of the state of the atmosphere. So that's one reason why the forecasts are not totally accurate. And the second is the accuracy of the model. There is a limited resolution. We cannot describe every detail of the weather, and therefore that will sooner or later give us errors in the forecast. These uncertainties inevitably lead to inaccuracies in the model predictions, especially for longer forecast ranges. This is where the method of ensemble forecasting comes in. An ensemble forecast works by running not just one weather forecast every day, but a large number. In fact, we run 50 weather forecasts every 12 hours. So in a day, we would run 100 weather forecasts, which allows the forecasters to get an indication of whether they can be confident in the forecast for tomorrow, the next day, even for the next week, or whether this is a forecast which is uncertain. ECMWF's numerical weather predictions are one of the most important sources of information for meteorologists in weather services. These meteorologists then produce weather forecasts tailored for different customers, such as emergency services, transport, the media, and the general public. We use the products of ECMWF for the daily operational weather forecast service. The future is in medium and long range weather forecasting, where ECMWF plays a significant role. It is one of the leading weather forecast centers in the world, and all of its member states are working hard towards maintaining this position for the future. ECMWF is one of the few centers worldwide to produce forecasts on a timescale even further ahead than 15 days. These monthly and seasonal predictions cannot be used to answer questions like, will it rain in Paris on the last day of next month? But they can indicate how likely it is that next month or season will be warmer or wetter than it usually is. Such information can be of vital importance in the area of health protection, for example, malaria early warning systems in Africa. ECMWF's model system also features ocean wave forecasting. These predictions can be used to determine an optimal ship route to complete a trip in the shortest time, with a maximum saving of fuel while avoiding strong headwinds and heavy seas. Time is of the essence in weather forecasting. It's crucially important that all ECMWF forecast products arrive on time at the place where they're to be used. The highest priority is given to a fast and reliable dissemination of products. The output of all ECMWF's operational models is stored in its huge archive, which over the years has grown to be the most comprehensive for meteorological data worldwide. It now contains more than 10 petabytes of data from observations, analyses, operational forecasts and research experiments. ECMWF's archive is not only used internally by ECMWF's researchers, but as well by our member states and also the wider meteorological research community. It is used for meteorological and environmental studies, but also for educational and commercial purposes. Satellite data provided by UMETSAT, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, is a major component for improving the model systems. With the vast increase of satellite measurements, ECMWF has been able to incorporate information on global temperature and humidity levels in areas where few on-site measurements are being taken. ECMWF and UMETSAT have been cooperating for many years, with both organizations benefiting from the sharing of data and expertise. The very special relationship between ECMWF and UMETSAT is crucial to deliver feedback to UMETSAT on the accuracy and the usefulness of the UMETSAT satellite data. Education and training is very important. Sophisticated models and techniques require targeted information and ECMWF offers a broad range of educational activities and training courses. Topics range from numerical weather prediction to making the best use of ECMWF's products. The center also fosters scientific exchange with the wider research community. Many ideas for improving the model systems have been conceived during scientific workshops organized by ECMWF. ECMWF has proven to be a unique and successful European organization. 
Over the years, it's provided both its member and cooperating states with numerical weather forecasts of the highest quality. But the success story does not stop here. ECMWF has many plans for the future. Well, clearly the uh, strategic goals uh, will be to, to maintain uh, what we uh, have achieved in the past, so namely remain I would say, a world leader in numerical weather prediction, reinforce our capability uh, to provide early warning for severe weather events, because this is clearly what our member states and the med services in Europe are uh, considering as the most important uh, delivery which we are able to provide to them. We need now to include in our forecasting system atmospheric chemistry, representation of ice, uh, including the ocean, etc. This means being able to cooperate with more and more the scientific community to develop this what we call an Earth system model. Those who benefit most uh, from ECNWF output are clearly, in the end, the European citizens. Because of the existence uh, of ECNWF, it means that they have access to the uh, best forecasting system worldwide. Okay.